back with another one, man. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a testimony that I had last night. Uh, for those who haven't seen my video, I think I made it, or the time you guys watched this video, it's like two days ago. I'm not sure where I'm gonna post this, but made a video called Seven Demonic Items You Need to Remove From Your House. And it was pretty much going over the occult objects, uh, the new age stuff that this world, the spiritual, which is not, it is spiritual, but it's like the dark side of spirituality. What they practice, the customs of what they do, you know, uh, horoscopes, sage, yoga, uh, tarot cards, Ouija boards, you know, stuff like that, right? All like the witchcraft stuff. And I was telling people, you know, you got to remove that from your house because that type of stuff gives place for demonic attacks. It gives power to Satan's kingdom when you have those objects in your house, you know, the idols, uh, all that type of stuff, right? Even when it, even when it stands to Christianity, the cross, the graven images, the false images of Christ, all that type of stuff needs to be removed from your house. And, you know, you got to people got to understand when when you're a warrior for God, not everyone's a warrior for God. Now, is it a salvation requirement to be a warrior? Obviously not. I got to say that because people are always offended at the truth. Um, and when it comes to being a warrior, like you got to you got to go through hell on earth even christ went through hell on earth and you got to also remember that you know whenever you're doing what god's calling you to do expose certain things whenever you're speaking against satan's kingdom you have to expect attacks no matter if you're being obedient no matter what like satan's gonna get mad he's gonna try to do whatever he can the bible says your own enemies will be in your own household okay so he's gonna use those who are not walking in truth uh, he's going to use those who do not have the Holy Spirit. So your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, uh, maybe even your children, uh, your, your wife, your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. He's going to use those who don't have the Holy Spirit. Satan's going to use those type of people to try to take you out, uh, to, to question your faith, to question your belief, to question why you believe certain things. That's what he's going to do. Okay, he's gonna try to plant seeds of confusion and he's gonna work through people. Okay, we all know the Bible says that God is the author of confusion. So when someone's confusing you, okay, we know with the spirit behind that. Okay, we know the spirit op uh, is operating through that person to confuse you. And that is a spiritual attack. Okay, when you're not opening doors to Satan's kingdom, to the demonic realm, to whatever you could be doing, right? Satan's like, well, damn, you know, he's walking in wisdom or he's just too wise. Oh, he's filled with the Holy Spirit. So what can I do to attack him? Let me use someone who's weak. Let me use a brother or sister who's offended. Okay, let me use them. And what, 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 because uh, the devil couldn't, the only thing the devil could do to Christ is tempt him. What he did do though, he used Peter. He used a brother who was weak. He used a Judas. Okay, he's gonna use somebody. When you're a warrior for God, you gotta understand that's how the devil is going to attack you. He got to use somebody because he's weak. He's a coward. Think about the times when we were at school, right? You know, when we were like in elementary school, middle school, we got in fights. And someone was like, oh, I'm going to get my, I'm going to get my big brother. You know, someone maybe who was thought he could, you know, thought he was someone he's not. And, you know, come to find out he's a coward. So he's like, oh, I'm going to get my big brother. That's how the devil works. The devil sees that the power that you have through the Holy Spirit, according to Acts chapter one, verse eight. You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Okay, so what he's going to do, he's going to try to use someone, uh, uh, use the enemies of your own household, the people of your own household. That's what he's going to do, man. So it's important to walk in wisdom and also important to understand that whenever God is call, calling you to expose certain things, don't be afraid. You got to be obedient because there's blessings in the obedience. I'm telling you, man, don't be afraid. Don't have the spirit of fear because most people, even a lot of these Christians, right, they have the spirit of fear. They're operating that because when I'm talking about certain things, when God's, you know, I'm right now and and I'm doing it right. And people are like, oh, Mark, you know, you, you should, you're, you're, you're pushing fear. I'm like, what the heck? Well, if you read the Bible, you know that God doesn't give us the spirit of fear. So there's no fear in my message at all. But the problem is you have that spirit in you. You're afraid of the demonic army. OK, you're afraid of Satan and these demons. But the Bible says that. In the, in the book of Acts chapter 19, verse 15, it says, the demons told 
to tell the person that I know Jesus, I, I know Paul, but who are you? Okay, demons actually fear those who are anointed. Demons actually fear those who have who are filled with the Holy Spirit, who are on fire for God, bro. They actually fear you. But see, when you watch these Hollywood movies, when you watch these horror mo horror movies, which also open doors, uh, open doors into the spiritual realm too, as well, guys. Yes, I have a video on that. Uh, when you're watching these type of movies, right, your uh, social media, uh, video games, whatever the case may be, right, they program you for you to be afraid of them, for you to be afraid of the, of the demons. It's all you're all being programmed, but actually they're actually cowards. They got to team up to try to take you out, okay, because they're weak. Think about a lion and a hyena. The Bible says that the lion is the strongest beast of them all. It's the strongest animal of, the, of all the animals in the kingdom, all right? It's the strongest one. And the hyenas, a, a hyena can't take down a lion. So what does a hyena do? It needs like 10 or 20 hyenas. And even then, the lion's still going to stay on his ground. The hyenas are scared of the lion. Even though those hyenas got like 10, 20, 30 of them with them, that one lion, that one king, Roar. <laughs> That's roaring, right? He's not backing down. He's not afraid, okay? And you got to understand that Christ is, he, the Bible says that he's coming back as a lion. So when you got that lion, that lion spirit, the spirit of Christ in you, there's nothing to be afraid of, bro. But like I said, when you're watching Hollywood movies, when you're, you know, you're on social media and, you know, they're trying to like scare you with the horror movies and stuff like that. Listen, bro. All that is a joke, all being programmed. So always keep that in mind. When you have the Holy Spirit, there's no, there's no room for fear. There's no room for fear, guys, okay? Um, think about all the times in the Bible where, you know, the, when the Egyptians were trying to take out the Israelites, all right? They had fear, but Mo, the, uh, God was with Moses and the people were with Moses too. And God was clearly leading Moses. They saw the signs, they knew that but they still had doubt when the Egyptians were chasing them. They still didn't believe God can, uh, that God can move mountains, that God could, you know, repair the sea. So there's no need to, there's no room for fear in your life, man. There's no, there's no room for fear. And when God's calling you to be a warrior, through much is given, much is required. Okay? Through much is given, much is required. So it's gonna require you to be obedient. It's going to require you to give up things to this world. It's going to require you to walk this narrow path alone. Now, am I, t am I telling you that you're going to have no friends or you're not going to get a husband or a wife or whatever the case may be? I'm not saying that. Or children, I'm not saying that. But I'm just letting you know, when you're a warrior for God, you can't keep company with those who are in darkness because those who are in darkness are going to be used by Satan. Best believe anyone who's walking in darkness, okay, they could be used by the devil to, you know, they could be used as an agent. Okay, I'm letting y'all know some real stuff, okay? This is that spiritual talk that these churches don't talk about, okay? Agents, what is the agent? Someone who's working for the devil, whether willingly or unwillingly, okay? You know the movie, The Matrix, Agent Smith, and the agent Smith were trying to take out Neo, Neo being the chosen one. That's exactly how this world we live in is. Okay, the agents, they're going to try to take out, take out you chosen ones. All you people who've been chosen by God, that's their whole mission. That's their whole goal. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 54, verse 16 to 17, it says, God has formed a smith. It also says in the next verse that no weapons that are formed against you shall prosper. Okay, all the weapons, all the fiery darts of the wicked, that talks about in Ephesians chapter six, okay? All the weapons that they, that they form against you, all the attacks, the lies, the slander, the character assassinations, the gossip, the backbiting, the hate, the envy, the jealousy, whatever the case may be, it won't prosper, but they will form against you. And so I, as I was making my video, actually, let me greet the people, man. I see y'all in here, man. Thank you all for leaving super chats. Thank you so much, Sharon. Thank you so much. Uh, someone said the devil's devices. Yep, we're not ignorant of that. What's up, Quincy Speaks? What's up, uh, Kristen? Uh, Ramsey? Bear fruit in keeping with repentance. Matthew chapter 3, verse 8. Yep, absolutely, Kenneth. People don't want to hear the truth because it disturbs their sinful nature. Absolutely. Yay, Mark. I made the live chat. Thank you, Brother Mark. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Christopher, for the super chat. Uh, Tanner Rich, peace and blessings. Mark in the chat. Peace and blessings to you, too. 
We fear no man. We fear God. Absolutely, Tina. You don't have to be afraid of anything in this world. Yep, that's facts. I'm a warrior for Christ. Put on my armor on daily. That's what's up. That's what's up. I don't care about that. I hate this world. That's what's up. Uh, someone says, Mark, many churches talk about the right doctrine. How do you know which one is the right one? Uh, whatever the Bible says, sound doctrine. I don't go back and forth with all these doctrines, all these man-made religious doctrines. Uh, I, I just, I, I, you know, the rapture, once saved, always saved. Waste of time. Uh, people who have the religious spirit, they like to debate. They like to go back and forth. That's, that's that spirit operating. You know, I, I have discernment, so I don't waste my time going back and forth with the religious spirit. You're a crushing mark. Keep it up. Love you, man of God. Thank you so much, bro. Please pray for me. All right, bro, I got you. That's good. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for everyone joining. Um, my bad, guys. I was going in, man. I was going in in the beginning. So, but hey, all y'all who joining, man. Thank you so much. Those who subscribe, like the video. I just hit 50, uh, 500,000 subscribers on the main channel. I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support, man. It means a lot. Without you, without the, without the love and support, I wouldn't even be making this. Video. I wouldn't even be here, man. So you guys give me the encouragement. To keep on going all your brothers and sisters in christ so that's all i want to say thank you guys so much man and uh appreciate you for the truth bro thank you so much uh alexander rodriguez hey mark first time that's what's up what's up new life peace and blessings mark your faith on youtube is awesome love the videos on sr and really open my eyes to what's really going on spiritually that thank you so much uh kevin gcr yeah absolutely man seamer man what you want on seamer attention bro Shh. You, you, that's a spiritual practice. So you're no longer fulfilling the lust of the flesh. Like you give up the pornography, you give up the masturbation, you give up the sexual morality, pretty much. And you start to see spirits. You don't no longer you no longer see people, bro. You you start to see spirits. You start to see those who are being deceived. Uh, I mean, you see everything, bro. Like once the, the longer you get on it, and make sure you're doing you're doing semen retention for God though, because people do do semen retention for vain practices. Um, make sure you're doing it for God. Make sure you're doing it because, you know, I, I had the fear of God in me. I don't want to live a life of my flesh because that's going to lead to death. I don't want to be a warmonger. So I'm going to do the best I can to be obedient. And I'm, I promise you guys, when, when you're doing that, when that's your mindset and your goals, when, you, when you're good on semen retention, celibacy, that's, that's when God's really going to start to move in your life because God is going to easily move your life when you're being obedient. Because God And you're humble because God works to the Bible says that God will guide, um, God will guide the meek. So when you're being meek, uh, when you're full of humbleness, you could be used by God easily. Those who are arrogant, prideful, self righteousness the ones who act like they know it all, the fair, pretty much a Pharisee. That's what, that's what it is. It's so hard for them. Thank you so much, uh, Tatiana, for the super chat. Peace and blessings, Mark. Keep it going. Thank you so much, sister. But I want to share with you guys. I want to share with you guys what happened to me last night, man. If you guys uh, didn't see that, I made a video yesterday talking about. Uh, what, what did I title it? It was titled uh, seven, seven, I seven demonic items that you need to remove from your household. It was pretty much like the cult objects, the new age stuff, the witchcraft stuff, talking about it earlier in this video. And when I had made that video, like I understand when I make certain videos, not all videos, but most of them, especially if I'm exposing Satan's kingdom, um, you know, the, the Marine kingdom, you know, the demonic kingdoms on this earth, right? When I'm exposing certain things, I gotta expect to get attacked back. I gotta expect not just not just on like the YouTube stuff. Like, who cares about that? I'm talking about actually in real life. And you know, and I understood, you know, I was exposing witches, warlocks, wizards, you know, because best believe they watch. You know, the gang stalkers they watch my channel. You know, those are the ones who watch my videos. They never click the like button. They never show no love in the comments. Or even those who watch my videos but they're not even subscribed to the channel. They watch all my videos but they're not even subscribed. You know, they, those people, those gang stalkers, they watch, right? And, you know, some of these people are casting spells. Some of these people try to, you know, place a curse on you. They're, they're playing with their, with their tarot cards. And they're, they're trying to foresee your future. They're trying to find access points to, to destroy your life. I'm telling you, this is real. There was actually a witch who made a video on me. She deleted it. But she was playing with the tarot cards, trying to foresee my future. Like, just 100% demonic. I prayed against that. And a couple days later, she deleted the video. I mean, just demonic, bro. So, yes, there's witches. There's gang stalkers. You know, they're watching you. All you chosen ones, the Bible even says the wicked watch the righteous. Okay, this is a Bible channel. 
So, and I always, I always condemn those witches. I always condemn those who practice witchcraft, okay, willfully. Not the people who do it ignorantly, but those who, 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 are, who, who know what they're doing, who know who they're serving, because they're serving Satan, and we can't serve two masters. So they're willfully serving Satan, and they're watching my videos. Like, what are you doing? Because they're working for the devil. They're trying to find access point. I'm telling you, these witches are preying on your life. All you chosen ones, all you warrior for God, uh, warriors for God, I'm telling you, this is, our, this is Satan's kingdom, okay? That's all what it is, okay? They're working for Satan. And so I'm exposing the witchcraft. I'm ex and there's a lot of people in the comments say, oh, Mark, thank you so much. I threw away, I threw away my sage. I threw away my crystals. You know, I threw away this and that, uh, the Harry Potter books, the witchcraft. I threw, away all, I threw it all away. You know, I'm trying to be obedient. I'm giving, I'm giving all the worldly stuff up and I'm putting my trust in the Holy Spirit, okay? There's a lot of people who said that in the comments. So that means a lot of people are leaving darkness to come to the light. So that makes me a target. When my vessel is being used to, to lead souls, you know, to, to win souls over for the kingdom, because the Bible says, he that winneth souls is wise. Proverbs chapter 13, or sorry, Proverbs chapter 11, verse 30. The man that wins souls is wise. Okay, so I'm winning souls over for the kingdom. There, there's, I'm exposing Satan's devices. Okay, the Bible says we are not ignorant of Satan's devices. So me not being ignorant, I'm going to preach and teach other people you know, the, the things that Satan has, you know, because remember the Bible says that Satan disguises himself as the angel of light. So that means that the things that he, the, the objects and the items, the, you know, the so-called spiritual stuff that Satan disguises himself as a light, I'm exposing that. I'm, I'm, I'm letting people know that when you bring these type of stuff in your household, you know, you're going to get attacked. And check this out, guys. Now, obviously, I made a video on that, so I don't have those stuff in my household. Um... When, I, when God first showed me that, I had a Harry Potter book. I didn't have it in my family. They used to do that type of stuff. But I threw that away. I threw the Harry Potter books away. I threw the movies away. Um, and it's crazy, too, because when I threw it in the trash can, I had a certain individual who doesn't even read the books, who doesn't, who doesn't even know what Harry Potter is. They digged in the trash can and took it out of the trash can and tried to put it back in, even though this individual doesn't even know what Harry Potter books is. If I would have threw away, let's say I would, I mean, God, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I'm not going to even say that, but let's say I would have threw away a book, right? That wasn't witchcraft. That was like a normal book. That person would not have dig digged in the garbage can to take it out. But because it was a demonic book and that person's in darkness, that person is a weak vessel being used, that person took it out. So it was a lot of spiritual warfare that I had to go through. And this is the time back when I was living with family. So I had to go through a lot. And that's why I advise all you chosen ones, try to move out. Like I understand if you're young, if you're in high school, and obviously it doesn't apply to you. But for those who are like over 25, 22 23 24 try to move out of your household get your own spot because i'm telling you it's a lot of peace in doing that because you know the bible says that your own enemies will be in your own household you know those people who are not who don't have the holy spirit they're going to be used by satan i'm telling y'all telling y'all no matter how religious they call themselves no matter if they go to church it does not matter bro if you don't have the holy spirit it does not matter okay um i know this modern day gospel with everyone's religious or everyone's a christian but no one's denying themselves. No one's picking up their cross daily and following him. No one's walking in the truth. No one's keeping, no one's keeping and honoring God's law, statutes, and commandments. But everyone's religious. Everyone, you know, but you know a tree bears fruits, okay? So they can't fool everybody. I mean, they could fool the, the sheeple, the people who are walking in darkness, you know, the, the religious people. They could fool them. But those who are Holy Spirit-filled, you can't, can't fool us. You just can't, okay? We have discernment. So... I threw away all those books. I was going through spiritual warfare and I was telling people that too. Like when you throw away your tarot cards, when you stop watching these YouTube channels of, you know, these witches pretty much, because that's what they are. You're going to get attacked too. Okay. The, and because you got to understand when you're opening these type of stuff and, and practicing these type of dark practices, that these are strongholds that are building in your life. They're continuously building and building more and more in your life. And... You know, when you when you break free from that stronghold, Satan's not gonna just let you go like that. Oh no, Satan doesn't work like that. He's gonna do his best to take you out. He's gonna do his best to keep you in bondage. But that's why the Bible says in James chapter four, uh, James chapter four, verse seven, it says, "Resist the devil, and he shall flee from you." Or sorry, sorry, submit yourself therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he shall flee to you. It's important to submit to God. Okay. I had to make sure I said that correctly because, yeah, you could resist the devil, he's leaving, but you got to submit to God first. You can't submit to yourself. You can't submit to your own will and your own desires. No, you got to submit to God, resist the devil, and he shall flee from you. Okay? So he's going to try to tempt you. Remember, Christ even got tempted. Okay, Christ got tempted and, you know, the devil came to try to tempt him. 
but he submitted to God. He was obedient to the commandments. He said, thou shalt have no other God before me. He was, he was obedient to the law. He was obedient to the commandments of God. And he, he was submitted to God. He resists the devil and the devil left him alone. The devil was like, all right, bro. I can't mess with you, man. You obedient, you on fire. You're not like the rest of these people. The rest of the people of the world where I could just easily to see them. You really, you really bought that life, bro. <laughs> That's what the devil told Jesus. You really bought that life. You really obedient to God. Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave you alone, man. You know, you go do your thing. Okay. That, that's, but the devil's like, all right, I'm gonna leave you alone. But the people you're trying to save, the people you're trying to help, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to play with their minds. Okay. I'm gonna try to play with their minds. I'm gonna try to cause confusion in their lives. I'm gonna use the tares, his children, Satan's children. He's gonna use them to cause confusion, to deceive. That's what he's gonna do, right? So story time, testimony time. Um, I was gonna put my, my thumbnail, I was gonna put like the stuff I was talking about on the thumbnail, like the evil eye, uh, what else did I talk, sage, and you know, stuff like that, the witchcraft stuff I was talking about in the video. I was gonna put that on the thumbnail, so I had to go on Google and you know, get the pictures of it, just so I could show people how it looks like. And I ended up not putting that on my thumbnail, not because I didn't want to, but because it was no space on it. It was blocking out the text. So I was like, I couldn't put it in. But I still had those images saved on my phone. Okay, I still had those images saved on my phone. And um, so I'm wondering, I'm trying to go to sleep and like, there's like, you know, I, I'm really spiritually in tune. I'm very, you know, conscious. I, I'm, I'm, I'm aware. That's what conscious means. I'm aware of my surroundings. I'm aware of the spiritual realm. I'm aware when demonic attacks are happening. So this is about three, four in the morning. Okay, now there's a saying that people say that witches really attack you around that time, which I don't really believe in that because spiritual warfare is 24 seven, whether it's during the nighttime or during the daytime. Um, so they're attacking people any time of the day. But it's at three, four in the morning. Lately, I've been going to sleep pretty late because my baby be up super late. So sometimes I'd be up to like five in the morning. So yesterday I was up to like four and around like three o'clock, there's a lot of stuff taking place in my house. Like I hear things. I'm like, wait, what the heck? Like what's going on? And I remembered, I was like, oh, okay, I made a video. I just made a video exposing Satan's kingdom. So like, I instantly remember like, okay, like I gotta be watchful, you know? I gotta pray against anything that, that's happening right now. Because like I said, all the us warriors who expose Satan's kingdom, who expose Satan's devices, we gotta get attacked. So I'm like, I started to pray, you know, cause that's our weapon, prayer's our weapon. Like, you know, we don't, we don't fight back Satan with, with carnal things, you know? Our weapons are, you know, spiritual, right? So. I started to pray and I asked God, I was like, you know, what, it, what is allowing this to happen in my house? Like what is allowing what's taking place in my house? Like I said, I'm spiritually in tune. I could see what's going on, bro. Like I could see it, right? So I started to pray and I instantly got led to my phone, my photos, like I'm telling you instantly after I got done praying, like five, ten, five, ten seconds later. And I had the evil eye on my photos cause I saved it from the Google cause I put it on my thumbnail. I had that, I had, a whole bunch of stuff like the witchcraft stuff said that I was going to put on my thumbnail and I instantly deleted all that type of stuff. Like I, I literally removed all of it, bro. And all of a sudden the attack stopped. So this is a, this is a God letting me know guys, even if you have this type of stuff on your phone, even your children guys, video games, they're, you know, there's a, there's a new video game that came out called Diablo. And I used to play this video game when I was younger. Um, when I was like, you know, elementary school, it was a really popular game back in the day. I'm not sure if it's so popular today, but it was like one of the biggest games back then, back when I was a gamer. It's called Diablo. I had no idea Diablo in Spanish. I didn't know this until a couple of years ago. It means uh, devil. It means Satan in uh, Spanish. And this is a very popular game. And um, we have children who play that game. It's not targeting the children, right? You also have, um, there's a video game called Harry Potter that just came out. It's a really popular game. And you got, your, you got children playing these type of games. And I remember I used to play that game when I was a younger child too. Okay, I used to read the books. I used to, you know, uh, watch the movies. You know, it was a really popular movie back in all you millennials probably watched it back in the early 2000s. And uh, the, the, I'm telling you, the games that we play, the stuff that you have on your phones, you got to really guard your babies, man, your children, because a lot of them don't know. A lot of them weren't trained when they were a child. The Bible says to train your child when they're young so when they grow older, they won't depart from it. A lot of them, men, and women, or, or should I say, sorry, young boys and young um, young girls, they don't have the father figure to teach them these type of things, or they don't have a mother figure that's in, in rooted in the word to teach them about the demonic realm and things that they, they shouldn't be partaking in. So this is very why it's very important to monitor what your babies are doing. 
maybe not just your babies, yourself too, okay? If you have a wife and you see she's doing these type of things, speak up, okay? Don't be the Ahab to the Jezebel. Speak up. Let her know, hey, you know, you're opening doors. Tell her straight up. And we're living in an age where there's like, men are no longer men. They're afraid to speak up. You see more women speaking up, bro. I mean, that's crazy. You see more women being like men, and you see more men being like the woman. Like everything in Babylon, this land of confusion is backwards. Everything. So don't be afraid to speak up in your household. If you see your children, your wife, or maybe you might be doing it ignorantly. Uh, I'm telling you, delete all the pictures, the emojis y'all have in your, in your social media names. I see that all the time. People follow me. And I'm like, and I, wanna, I really want to go out of my way to DM them and let them know. But there's so much people. But it's like, all, they, all I can do is be a light. The evil eye y'all got in your name, that hand thingy, um, all, you know, the horoscopes that I have next to your name, telling you, remove that immediately, bro. We don't, we don't want to give any, any, uh, the Bible says don't give no place for the devil in your life. That's in Ephesians chapter four, verse 27. So once we come aware, once we become awakened to what's really taking place in the spiritual realm and we become awakened to Satan's devices and the witchcraft, the new age spirituality, the occult stuff. We don't want to have fellowship with that. We're not going to promote that. Like I said, it could even be in your photos, man. It could even be in your phone, um, the PlayStation 5, your Xbox, Nintendo. Uh, there's even child video games, right, that are, that are for children that has, you know, Satan Satanism promoted in that uh, video game. So just because you're watching something and, and you, like, you know, you, you know, you want to have a break from your child and let her watch like a Netflix baby show. You got to watch what that baby show is promoting. OK, uh, I was watching a baby show on Netflix. I forgot what the title was named. It was just some random show. I was watching it with my daughter and there was a lot of like symbolism in it, like triangle pyramids. When, when I watch stuff, when I watch movies and TVs, I no longer watch it for entertainment. I watch it to see the message behind it. What are they trying to program people? Like, what's the agenda behind this? Like, that's how I think nowadays. Like, and, and best believe, there are, there are always hidden messages behind, you know, most of these movies, especially that Holly Weird pushes out. And so I wanted to see, like, you know, like, whether they're promoting it in the ch for the children. I'm telling you, I saw a lot of symbolism. I saw the LG da -da 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 -da, colors being promoted. So y'all really got to watch out what you're, what's being pushed for your children, man. I'm telling you, because Satan, he has to target the youth because the youth, that's the future. Once a few, once a youth accepts these demonic stuff, I'm telling you, this whole world is going to be totally reprobated. These are, these are going to be your future presidents. Um, I mean, it's going to get real bad out here, guys. Like I guess I'm not trying to push fear or nothing like that, but it's going to get real bad. And yep, cry loud, spare not. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Rachel. Uh, Puni for the super chat. Thank you so much, sister. Let's cry loud, spare not. Yep, absolutely, man. That's why AI is about to take over. Absolutely. The robots. I'm actually gonna make a video on that pretty soon. AI, I mean, everyone should know that by now. I mean, you already have them replace people's jobs. It's not a it's not a lower pace right now, but yeah, you know, these corporations, they'd rather have robots work for them instead of humans because they, you know, all they gotta pay them less. Even when you go into McDonald's, you go into, I don't eat McDonald's, but when you go into these fast food joints, you don't need the cashier no more. They already have a machine that lets you order itself. So pretty so you guys see what's going on. That's why I always tell you guys how Satan works. He got to plant seeds. He got to slowly get you to accept it. I remember I was in downtown and I had saw a robot dog. It was crossing the street and it was door, it was DoorDash or one of those companies, DoorDash, Uber Eats, whatever, whatever it was. And it was delivering, it was a robot dog crossing the street. And I believe it's only in downtown where they had that. And it knew when to stop and knew when to go. So it's like, they don't need humans to do that no more. They have a robot doing it. You know, they're gonna, there's gonna be a time where you're, people are gonna be no longer wanting to have intercourse with a man or a woman. They're gonna rather have an intercourse with a robot. You see the gender word being pushed, man against a woman, woman against a man. Everyone hates each other. But that's on social media. But if you go in real life, you don't see that. But that's how you know it's programming. When you go on social media, you see these content creators getting pushed where they're bashing women or they're bashing men. They're constantly, now don't get it wrong. The modern woman, most of them, they're finished. Same thing with the modern man. Most of these modern men, you know, they don't even want to be, be husbands. They don't want to have children no more. Uh, they just rather be warmongers. Okay, they'd rather just smash this and that. Uh, they don't want God in their life. So he, they're finished too. So it goes both ways. But when you go on social media, you only see it one side. 
Okay, and that's only on social media where you see the gender work. Because when I go outside, I see family. Okay, I see you know boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, husband, wife. I see that, but on the internet, so that's how it lets me know it's just an agenda. Okay, to divide people because once you divide the man and the woman together, once you once you you know t when you when you remove the man out the household, Satan's gonna make his way, and when Satan makes his way. He's going to destroy the children. That's how it all works. Okay. Back in the days, it was a race war. You had the, the blacks and the whites against each other or the blacks and the Mexicans or Latinos against each other. Right. Nowadays, that doesn't really doesn't really matter. Now it's about the gender work because that causes more destruction. Okay. The gender war causes way more destruction than the race than the race war back in the 90s and the early 2000s. So I hope you guys are seeing what's going on. Someone said, did you see the Playboy Cardi? concert um i saw that video of that young lady she was talking about how she had left that concert because it was it was demonic or whatever but it's like you went to rolling loud what do you think that's gonna take place they're like did you go to rolling Loud to see god did you go to the world uh rolling loud to worship god like come on like she knew what she was doing i believe it was just a clout chase like why are you and she was talking about oh hallelujah praise the lord amen uh jesus jesus like you're partaking in the world. What do you expect? And it just, it's like, I, I feel like it was just a clout chase, honestly. It, it was, just, I know that's an unpopular opinion, but I personally believe that, that was just a clout chase, man. Um, she left, she left the, um, play, what's his name? Playboy Cardi. Uh, hopefully I'm saying his name right. Left that concert. And you know, he is a hundred percent demonic artist. Uh, little Uzi Vert, all those artists up there, those mainstream, they all took the oath. Okay. Every single one of them, your gorillas, your Cardi B's, okay, they all took the oath and their agenda is to lead the children astray, to lead the youth astray. And, you know, I, I really couldn't take that video serious. You know, I saw it was a kind of, it went viral. I couldn't take it serious. Like, if you want to worship God, right? Or, sorry, if you want to abstain from demonic rituals and all that demonic stuff, why are you going to Rolling Loud? So, to me, it didn't make sense. I feel like it was just a clout chase. I was just talking about Brazil. Oh yeah, I saw what happened to Brazil. So um, I actually made a video on that years ago because they have that every year in Brazil where they have like, they're pretty much worshiping Satan, you know, in like a parade. And one of the people who played Christ, um, who played Christ, he actually passed away the next day. This happened in 2019, I believe. Yeah, it was 2019. And um, now fast forward, they had it a couple days ago and that whole city got flooded the next day. So the Bible says, you know, God is not mocked. Whatever someone sows, they shall reap. And that whole city got flooded the next day. And people really want to say God's not real. People really want to say that. They'll believe in the devil. They'll believe in evil, but they won't believe in God. They won't believe in Jesus because their hearts are darkened. Okay. And what does the Bible say? It says in John chapter three, verse 16 to 21, that man, they love darkness rather than the light except their deeds be reproved. So pretty much that means that when someone comes, when someone draws into the light, when someone uh, leaves the darkness to come to the light, their darkness gets revealed, it gets exposed. And people don't wanna see that because it's gonna you know, cause cognitive dissonance, which means that it's gonna reveal who you are. It's gonna have to take accountability. Like, wow, you have your wicked ways. Wow, you have to repent from your evil and your sin. And people don't wanna do that. People don't wanna do that. So. You know, they stay in their darkness. They stay comfortable in their sins. They, you know, they don't want God. They don't want Jesus. And, you know, that's what happens. But, yeah, that, 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 um, that uh, parade, that happens every year, I believe, in Brazil. You know, they, they still playing with God, man. They still haven't learned their lesson. And they're going to continue doing that. Because these people on this earth, most of them, they serve Satan. Some of them do it willfully. Some of them do it ignorantly. And uh, you, you all saw what happened to Brazil, too. That, that statue... The false image of Christ in Brazil, I think it's in the uh, Rio Grande or whatever, that got struck down. Remember, Christ, uh, the, sorry, God says there shall be no graven images. And I believe that was the second time that got struck. So you see God's clearly not playing with the idolaters. God's clearly not playing with that. So um, just, guys, just be watchful, man. You know, have wisdom. Be, allow wisdom into your life. Seek wisdom more than you seek gold. And, you know, pray and ask God for discernment so you can see what's taking place on this world, man. Because it's a lot of evil out here, man. And it's only going to get worse. Shalom, bro. How's it out here? Um, it's, it's rain. I'm surprised it hasn't rained yet. Thank you, God. 
Thank you, God, because if it was raining, I would have to end this, but I bet they believe on judgment day. Oh, absolutely. Every knee will bow and confess. Every single one. All the, all the scoffers, the mockers, the blasphemers, uh, the children of Satan, they will all confess. So, you know, God gets the last laugh. Yep, they get the last laugh. We all must repent for the times is at hand. Yeah, yep, sure do. Every single day we got to repent, man. Facts. Let's not be lukewarm. Let's be on fire for the Lord. Absolutely, man. How much coffee do you consider too much? Um, that's up to you. I personally don't drink coffee, but that's up to you to know that. Mark, your videos are being shadow banned. Um, what? Um, um, so maybe sometimes you got to turn off the post notifications and turn it back on. Sometimes it'd be playing like that. Sometimes it'd be, it'd be playing like that, man. Uh, would I be wrong to tell my sister and her husband they're opening doors to strongholds? No, you wouldn't be wrong to do that. Uh, the Bible says that we're supposed to warn people. And if we don't, we'll have blood on our, on our own hands. So uh, now let, let me make this very clear, though. Most people will reject your warning. Just like how they rejected Noah, the, the messenger. They rejected him. I mean, all those people rejected him. There's only eight people who got saved in those days. So most people will reject you too, but at least you know that you won't have blood in your hands because you did your job. You did your job to warn people. They don't want to listen. Hey, no blood on your hands. Like me, I don't have no blood on my hands. I already warned everyone in my life. Uh, even on YouTube, I went the extra mile because I really love God. And not just by my words, but my actions. So God used my vessel to preach and you know warn people of certain sins that are going to lead them to hell. That are going to lead them to the lake of fire. And, you know, so I, I already did my job. I already warned people, hey, people want to scoff and mock and troll and be on demon time. Uh, you know, walk in darkness. Do, do what you got to do, man. I, that has nothing to do with me. We're all going to get judged, all of us. So I already did what I had to do. That's on them. So, yeah, you should never be afraid to, uh, especially if God's convicting you, you should never be afraid to tell people. Because some people, some of them guys, you never know. They actually want, they actually want the truth. They actually want to know. Like there was a time where I thought it was okay to smoke weed. I thought it was okay to, uh, you know, okay to watch, you know, pornography or, you know, certain things that I was doing. I thought it was okay to do that. And I actually had a friend who told me, he was like, oh, Mark, like that's all demonic. And instead of me getting offended, I actually did my time to look, do research. And, you know, and then I actually found out like, oh, I gotta stop. I gotta pretty much repent of what I was doing. Even like the witchcraft stuff, the horoscopes, I had to repent from all that. So some people, they actually want you to tell them, or I want to say they want you to tell them they want to know about what they're doing is wrong, but they're just, you know, deceived. They're ignorant. So, you know, and if it wasn't for my friend telling me, who knows? Y'all probably wouldn't even know who I, who I am. Maybe I wouldn't even be on YouTube. So never underestimate the power of planting a seed because there are a lot of people, guys, who actually want to know the truth. They want to know, you know, their error of their ways. Um, they really want to, you know, they really want to serve God, but they don't know because the truth hasn't been revealed to them yet. And God uses vessels to help other people, okay? God uses people to, um, his shepherds, uh, or just his children, not even obvious, just his children to help other people because they're children of God. Because what is God? He's love, he helps people, okay? And the, us people who are children of God, we take on traits of God, okay? Us people who are child, children of God, we take on traits of God. Those people who are a child of Satan, which talks about in Matthew chapter 13, verse 38 to 43, the tares, Okay, they take on traits of Satan, okay? What is the devil, man? He's prideful, he's envious, he's a hater, he's jealous, okay? He likes to uh, sow discord, um, you know, all those type of things, right? Y'all know who the devil is. So Satan's children, they have those traits too, a blasphemer and all that. So, uh, yeah, never be afraid to warn people. And, you know, when I was warning all my friends, because when I was in the world, I had a lot of friends. I told them the truth, literally, I'll probably say 98% of them all left me. They don't want nothing to do with me no more, you know? Once I start living for God, uh, walking this righteous path, this narrow way, right? Uh, no one wants to be my friend no more. But when I was on that broad path, many people were on. Everyone wanted to be my friend. Everyone liked me. You know, everyone, you know, wanted to be around me, hitting me up all day. But the minute I decided to deny myself and pick up my cross and walk this narrow path, live a life of being set apart, you know, being holy, Everyone's like, now I'm the enemy. Now I'm the bad guy. It's like, what a joke. This world is a joke, man. So evil is good and good is evil. That is the days we're living in. And even the Bible says that. That's in Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. It says, 
Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. We're seeing that today. Or anyone who wants to walk this righteous path, anyone who wants to honor God's commandments, uh, follow Christ, they're evil. But the people who are, you know, walking the, on the broad, wide gate, who are not doing what Christ is telling them to do, okay, the wicked, slothful servant, these are the good, these are the good guys. These are the nice guys. I mean, it's, it's going to get worse, guys. It's going to get worse before it gets better, man. Christ is coming back to slay and slaughter the ungodly, the willful sinners, the disobedient, according to Amos chapter 9. Uh, the whole uh, chapter, I think, I believe it's verse, uh, chapter 9, verse 10 or 13. But, but I know for sure it's in Amos chapter 9. That's what, who's going to destroy. He's coming back for the sword. The sword meaning destruction. So, hey, if you want to play both sides, you want to serve God and Satan, you want to be of this world and then be of God, you, you want to serve two masters pretty much, uh, you want to be lukewarm and use Bible verses to justify that, hey, you could, you could walk on that side, man. I'm going to continue walking straight and narrow. You could, you could continue to serve your, your two masters. Uh, you could justify sin. You could twist scriptures. I mean, that's just dangerous. I can't see myself doing that, bro. If the Bible says certain people will not inherit the kingdom of God, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9, Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 to 21, that's what the word says. But people like to twist it. And it's all, it's all their sinful nature, man. That's why you must be born again. A lot of people are so focused on being religious, being so religious that they don't even become born again. They don't even become born again, man. So, um, and once you become born again, guys, you, you are now spiritual, okay? You're no longer living. You're no longer willfully living in the flesh. Now, of course, we're going to battle the flesh. We're going to make mistakes because we're so humans, okay? Uh, even though the Bible does say to be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect, but it doesn't mean that you're going to be without sin because the Bible says that Job was a perfect man, but Job was a human like us. So that doesn't mean he never sinned. Okay, but that just means that just when, he, when God called him perfect, it means that his whole heart was committed to the Lord, keeping God's uh, law, statutes, commandments. You know, pretty much being obedient. You know, not keeping his, his mind on the things of this earth, but keeping his mind on the things above. Okay, he wasn't carnally minded. He was spirit. He was a spiritual man. And look at him. Look at he had he had everything. Uh, the Bible said that he was a rich man. Okay, God gave him everything because he wasn't focused on this world. He was focused on what God had in his life. He was focused on the will of God, and God blessed him. And that's what you want to be like too. You want to be a Job. Okay, and see, when you're a Job, right, um, you might go through it, man. You might, you might go through stuff that just pops up, pops up randomly in your life. Okay, the devil could use your wife, uh, use your husband to, to go against you. Because that's what happened to Job. Job's wife told him to curse God. Like, that's crazy. You know, so people, it, it might happen to you, man. It might happen to you. Your enemies will be in your own household. It might just happen to you. You might lose your children. Uh, you might lose... Everything that you gained in this world, but just know when you lose things that you gain in this world for God's sake, for the kingdom of God's sake, God will give you a hundredfold more. He'll give you two times more than what you lost. That's in Matthew chapter 19, verse 28 to 29. Woo! Feels good, man. Thank you so much, T-Raw, for the super chat. But honestly, I love it because I knew it was a sign on the right path. I didn't see what you said before that, um, Scarla. Repent, the end is near. I already lost friends. Yep. That's the evidence that you're on the right path. For the most part. For the most part. Now, you could lose friends for being self-righteous, for being a Pharisee. But you also could lose friends because you're walking in truth. You're doing what Christ told you to do. Okay, you're being a humble, obedient servant. So, just understand that too. You could lose friends for being self-righteous, for acting like, you know, being pretty much like a Pharisee. Because no one wants to be around someone who just claims to be without sin, who's, who's judging you all the time, unrighteously judging you. Because I know the Bible does say we are called to judge people, but judge righteous judgment. A lot of people, when they judge, it's unrighteous judgment. Okay, they have a speck in their own eye that they got to take out, but they're out here judging you when that same speck, the same thing they're judging you of, they do behind closed doors. So it's a lot of hypocrites. It's a lot of hypocrites, man. No one wants to be around those type of, you know, those type of spirits. Because remember, we don't deal with human beings. We're dealing with the spirit behind them. Always keep that in mind. That's why it's important to have a spiritual mind. Because the Bible says a spiritual mind is life and peace. So you understand more. You have more wisdom. You have more, you know, godly wisdom. You have more godly knowledge to understand what's really taking place in your life and in this world. And it gives you a sense of peace. Because you understand what's happening. You understand the reason behind it. And you don't get offended. You don't, you don't take it, you don't, you don't take it to heart because even the, even Christ told people that blessed is he who is not offended 
because Christ was speaking truth. And what does the Bible say when you speak truth? Have I now become your enemy because I told you the truth? Galatians chapter 4, verse 16. So understand that when you're speaking truth, when you're being obedient to God, they're going to hate you, bro. Look at all the stories in the Bible. I could list 50 names, bro. When, they, when you're speaking truth, even, even the, the, religious, the religious people, the warriors for God, you know, all, all those names that people give them, like even them, bro, they're going to be used, man. Anyone who's not walking in love, okay, anyone who does not have the Holy Spirit, they're going to be used by Satan, bro. It is what it is. No matter how much time they go to church, no matter if they're a pastor, a prophet, a preacher, a content creator, no matter what, bro, anyone who's not walking in truth, Okay, the Bible says that he who says, I know him, but keep not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, that verse exposes a lot of people because, you you know, the Christianity, they teach you that the law is done away with. They teach you that we don't have to keep God's commandments. But the Bible says in the New Testament, in 1 John chapter 2, verse 3 to 4, says that he who says, I know him, I know, I know him, God and does not keep his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. Wow, 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 wow. Unbelievable, man. But they tell you that you don't have to keep the commandments, okay? So this is why it's important to read the word, read the Bible for yourself. Study to show yourself approved. Don't wait on no, no man. Don't wait on nobody to teach you the Bible. And you actually read the Bible for yourself, man. Stop being lazy, put down your phone. Put down the social media. It's okay to take a break from social media. It's okay to stop taking a selfie of yourself every damn day. It's okay. And actually open your Bible and apply it into your life. Okay? Uh, it's okay to uh, detach from this world. Detach from the matrix. It's okay, bro. You're not going to miss out. I know sometimes we might feel like we're missing out for not living a certain lifestyle. But best believe when you're obedient to God, fast forward years later... Those same people you thought that you were missing out, you're going to be above them. And I'm not saying this in a prideful, arrogant way. I'm just saying because you were practicing spirituality, you're truly walking with God. And there's rewards of doing that, okay? Those people who are walking with sin, their soul is, is in jeopardy, okay? Their soul is in jeopardy, man. So just always keep that in mind. We don't envy the wicked. We do not envy the wicked, man. That's, that's in the Bible too. It says you should not envy the wicked. That's in Proverbs. Uh, is NIV a good version to read or does it not matter? So I only read the King James Version. I only read that version. The original text. I heard Jesus had a tattoo. Did y'all know that? Nah, uh. <laughs> nah, Jesus didn't have a tattoo. Jesus was without, was without sin. The Bible says if you get a mark on your body, it's, it's a sin. So Jesus did not have no tattoos. I don't know where you read that at. That's nowhere in the Bible. What the heck? Jesus had a tattoo. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> Leviticus chapter 19, verse 28. There's no way Christ had tattoos. No way. Amen. I tell, amen, Mark. I tell people all the time, re-study their holy Bibles daily and obey. Yep, absolutely, man. Absolutely. My husband is a preacher and he always says the commandments were are to follow is to love God and others. Pray for him because he doesn't believe in casting out and hands of healers. Thanks, Curtis. This really helps with your and tobacco. Uh, I just say be sober, guys. The times we're, li we're living in, it's just best to, it's just best to be sober, bro. Uh, all drug use, if you do that actively, not saying if you do that one time, I'll depend on certain drugs. Certain drugs, you do it once, you'll never be the same again. Like the LSD, uh, sometimes maybe even the shrooms if you have a bad trip. But if you do that actively every single day, uh, you could open yourself up to the demonic realm, man. So just be careful on drug use. It's, it's just best to be sober because uh, the end is at hand, man. So I, I don't. I just tell people to abstain from all drugs to your best best as possible. I know people struggle with you know certain addictions like cigarettes and to, uh, vaping and stuff like that but i i advise people um just to leave that alone man i know it's hard but you know i used to have a weed addiction so i'm letting you all know from experience that you know once you fully surrender bro i don't it's been over a year since i smoked i have no desires to do it no more 
My mind is centered on doing the will of God. That's what I wake up doing. I love I loved this, bro. I love this. Like, this is my high. This is my high every single day. And it's crazy because once I started speaking on this, now I'm smelling weed right now. Now, I do live in California, so it's kind of normalized, but that's, that's funny that I'm saying that, right? The minute I start talking about this, I start smelling weed. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy, man. But yeah, guys, I just, just, just stay sober if you can. Surrender to God, do the will of God. It gives you a purpose in life. You know, because when I was doing that stuff, man, I just felt depressed. Like every single day I wake up, I gotta, I gotta roll up. Before I go to sleep, I gotta roll up. Like it's like a matrix, bro. Like just for a temporary dopamine. I get tired, tired of that, bro. Like I, and I, I found myself, like I want a deeper sense of purpose like in life. I don't want to be a slave to gain high. Cause that's, that the world tells you that's cool to do. It's cool to be a drug addict. This world guys, you know, back, back in my days, like five years ago, most of the drugs people did was just weed. Cigarettes, weed, vaping, whatever. Nowadays, they're doing shrooms, LSD. Uh, they're, they're popping pills. I mean, it's getting demonic, bro. I mean, it's like the new age generation of crack babies. They're not doing meth and stuff like that. They're doing popping pills, Molly Percocet, shrooms, acid. I mean, to me, that was always weird to do. I just, I just did weed, man. But I'm just glad God sent me free. And he can set you free too as well, man. All about surrendering. All about doing the will of God, man. That's what it's all about. Shout out from Kingston, Jamaica. Okay, shout out to King, uh, Jamaica. I went there for my birthday last year. It says, I got filled with the Holy Ghost after deep repentance two weeks ago. Baptized in Jesus' name. I'm already at work. Keep it up. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you, uh, OS. Appreciate you, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. Devils let us for a reason. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's facts, man. That's facts. Uh, Mark, peace, Mark. Can you do a video on marriage, divorce, and remarriage while living spouse is living? I actually do have a video on that. People asked me to make a video on that already. And this is why I upload older videos because most people haven't watched my older videos. So I'm going to continue uploading. Not all the time, but sometimes I might upload an older video. If you type it on YouTube, it's called... Um, what is that title again? I might just re I might just reupload that video. I have I already have videos on that topic, but the Bible makes it clear. Uh, you know, if your if your husband is still living and you, and you guys are divorced, you're not allowed to marry someone else. You commit adultery. You know, people like to cherry pick that verse. People like to pick and choose. You know, because they, but that's the word. So, Bible makes it clear. You're not allowed to remarry if your husband is still alive. That, that's simple. So. I know a lot of people don't want to hear that. It's a sensitive topic, but hey, the truth is the truth. You take it up with God. You take it up with God. That's in Romans chapter 7, verse 2 to 3. Thank you so much, uh, Bell, Nardo, Gold, for the super chat. Your message got deleted, bro. Yeah, your, your message got deleted, so I can't see what it says. The weed demon kicked me when I was throwing away my bong joint weed. Wow, man. I believe you, bro. I believe you, man. That's crazy. Thank you so much, um, Simona. Thank you, sis. But uh, yeah, man, it was a blessing building with you guys, man. About to reach an hour time limit. I hope you guys got blessed from this message. Like I said, guys, anything you're battling with, all you warriors for God, all you chosen ones, understand that there is a war against your soul. Even when you're chosen, it doesn't end yet, man. We got to finish this race and run the race that you will receive the prize, man. And uh, if you guys got blessed with this message, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I will be posting this on my main channel tomorrow. And if you guys want to support me, my links are down below in the description. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.